Hey everybody, it's Jeff again, the Horror File 666. Uh, this video I'm making is a contest response to Mr. Ramon420, also known as Chris. Uh, he just reached the 300 plus subscriber mark, and his contest is a little bit different than the, just the previous one that I did. Uh, he wants to for you to speak about either a VHS or DVD, basically one of the worst movies that you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, and you're looking at it right here. It's uh, Bill Cosby in Leonard Part 6. Um, this movie kind of threw me off because I didn't, you know, exactly know what the movie would be about. I didn't even bother looking at the back of it or anything. To me, it seems something like a sci-fi kind of comedy thing, you know, because he's dressed up like a spaceman, kind of whatever. And then it says, our world is safe and is in safe hands. So I figured, well... It's probably some kind of action sci-fi thing, whatever. And, I mean, I'll admit, you know, I, I grew up watching the Cosby show and stuff, so I figured, well, I'll give it a chance. And this was um, part of a movie sale. It's like you buy one movie at full price, and then you get the other one for half price. So this this was the one I picked for half price, and this only cost me about, like, 250 or 275 something like that. And there is no other, you know, Leonard Part 1 through 5. It's just called Leonard Part 6, which is stupid. And, um, yeah, so I just kind of took it because it seemed interesting enough. And, I mean, I heard that basically Bill Cosby doesn't even like talking about this or even acknowledging that this movie was ever made. Um, yeah, it's it's just terrible, guys. I mean, it's rated PG. It's like a family movie, basically. Um, but like the whole idea of it, he's he's divorced from his wife, and uh, he's he's you know fairly rich. He lives in a mansion and everything, and uh, he's hasn't been getting along too well with his daughter because she she's dating um, an older man. He's he's like her manager or something. She's some kind of like a stage actress or whatever, and. Um, yeah, so they're supposed to be getting married, and she's maybe like in her 20s, and her fiancé is about 50 or more, and he's very much against that, you know. So, um, to me, they, like, they try to make him sort of like a like a African-American 007 kind of thing, which is weird. And, um, you know, these are just, this is like one outfit that he wears, and uh, there's some, you know, cool explosions and stuff in there. But that's the only thing that really, like, I guess, kept me to watch it from start to finish. And, I mean, I'm I'm ashamed to own this. You know, like, even um, I showed it to a friend of mine, and they're like, wow, this movie is just total trash. And even uh, my niece and nephew won't watch it, and they like the Cosby show and stuff. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, um, basically, he's like a secret agent or like a former secret agent kind of thing. And, um, this, this lady, uh, she does, like, experiments on animals and stuff in, like, this factory. And, uh, he's, he's trying to get down to the bottom of, uh, you know, what's going on with the whole thing. Uh, she has, like, these, these frogs, like, killer frogs, killer lobsters, killer horses. They're, like, you know, genetically mutated kind of thing. And, um... So yeah, so it's it, like this whole big international crisis happens and he's the only one that can do anything. There's a, a couple, you know, funny parts, but I mean funny as in, it just, as in just so stupid that you laugh, you know. I'm not even talking like a cheese factor. This is like, you know, just I can't even put, you know, proper sentences together, just how terrible this movie is. I mean, the cover pretty much sold me, because I was like, what the hell is London Part 6? I mean, like, is there other ones or something? I don't know. But no, there there is not, and this movie is just craptastic, and please stay very far away from it. Like, don't even rent it or anything, or, I mean, you can probably get it on Amazon for about $3, and that's way too much. The 2.98 shipping would be just the killer for me, even if you get it for like a penny or two. Just really stay away from it. And it was just a whole mess. I heard like there was a number of uh, different sets built for this movie that they never even used. And they tried, uh, you know, wrapping up filming as quickly as they could. And this was just, 
you know, sort of like a brainchild of uh, Bill Cosby, and it was just, wow, I mean, terrible. I, I actually had just sold a, a number of DVDs, about 11 or 12 DVDs, and I forgot to, to pull this one out. It was like kind of on a shelf behind some other stuff. Like, I don't even really group it in with, you know, the DVDs that I like. I have a couple others which are total crap, too, but I picked this one out of all of those, so... Yeah, um, alright, so, you know, once again, big congratulations to Chris on, uh, getting 300 plus subs, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody likes this video as well, and, uh, you know, please leave some comments, maybe you've seen it, and, you know, we can both kind of laugh at it together, or whatever, but yeah, stay very far away from this, and avoid it like the plague. Alright guys, take care, thanks for watching, bye-bye.